Hello everyone, my name is Maria Aymuraya and today I am going to share with you about the goods subject to excise tax. I was assigned to discuss chapter 5 and 6. But let's go first to chapter 5. So it is excise tax on petroleum products. So as you can see below, there are the common petroleum products. So we have here the asphalt, so we all know what asphalt is. Tar, paraffin wax, gasoline, petrochemicals, heating oil, ethane, petroleum coke, liquefied petroleum gas, sulfur, diesel, jet fuel, kerosene. So these are the common petroleum products. So let's go to section 148, which is the manufactured oils and other fuels. So as you can see here in the left side, here are the list of manufactured oils and other fuels. And in the right corner of this table, here are the corresponding excise tax to be added in each of the products. So as you can see, there is an increase as year goes by. So we have here first the lubricating oils and greases in 2020 in recent. It has 10 per liter in kilogram respectively of volume capacity or weight. In processed gas also, it has 10 per liter of volume capacity. In waxes and petrol atom, it has 10 also per kilogram. On denatured alcohol, 10 per liter of volume capacity. And leaded premium gasoline, it has also 10 per liter of volume capacity. Aviation turbojet fuel, aviation gas, 4 pesos per liter of volume capacity. Kerosene, 5 per liter of volume capacity. But if kerosene is used as aviation fuel, so it's subject to same tax with aviation turbojet fuel, which is 4 pesos per liter of volume capacity. So in diesel fuel, oil, and on similar fuels, it has 6 per liter of volume capacity. Liquefied petroleum gas, it has 3 per kilogram. Asphalt, 10 pesos per kilogram. Bunker fuel and another fuel. Oils, 6 pesos per liter of volume capacity. And petroleum coke, 6 pesos per metric ton. So petroleum products including naphtha, LPG, petroleum coke, refinery fuel, and other products of distillation, when it is used as input, feedstock, or as raw material in the manufacturing or petrochemical products, or in the refining of petroleum products. So this is subject to the rules and regulations to be promulgated by the Secretary of Finance. So per letter of volume capacity is zero tax if it is used as input, feedstock, or as raw materials in manufacturing. So let's go to chapter 6, and this is excise tax on miscellaneous products. So when we say miscellaneous product, we have here the section 149, we have here the automobiles. So when we say automobile, it is any four or more wheeled motor vehicle, regardless of setting capacity. But buses, trucks, trucks cargo vans, jeeps, or jeepney substitute single cab chases and special purposes vehicles shall not be considered as automobiles so as you can see here we have here the current and this is the corresponding tax before the train law but we have to go here under the train law so if the price of the automobile is not over 600,000 pesos so the hybrid will be 2% tax rate while the non-hybrid is 4% tax rate. If the price is over 600,000 pesos but not more than 1 million, so the hybrid is 5% and the non-hybrid is 10% also. If over 1 million but not over 4 million, so the hybrid is 10% while the non-hybrid is 20%. So if over 4 million pesos, the hybrid is 25% while the non-hybrid is 50% but there is exempted on this these are the pickup trucks and purely electrical vehicles
So let's move to non-essential goods. So when we say non-essential goods, it is subject to 20% of wholesale price. So example of this is jewelry, whether real or imitation, perfumes and toilet waters, yacht and other vessels intended for pleasure or sports. So this is subject to 20% of excise tax. So let's move to sweetened beverages. So as you can see, the new tax rates for sugar sweetened drinks, we have here 6 pesos per liter on drinks using sugar and artificial sweeteners, and 12 pesos per liter on drinks using high fructose corn syrup. So example of this is soft drinks, but they were also exempted in sweetened beverages. One of this is milk. If it is infant milk, plain milk, growing up milk, powdered, ready to drink, flavored, and fermented. The other exempted is instant coffee if it is 100% natural fruit and vegetable juices. That ends my presentation and thank you for listening.